Hey guys, welcome back. As some of you may know, I've already done quite a bit of traveling this year. Two of the places that I visited were towards the colder side, which made it really difficult to pack light. If you're like me, you tend to overpack with your clothes, your hair, and your makeup. So in today's video, I decided to share with you guys what my essential products are for my go-to hair and makeup routine when I'm traveling because I don't like to spend a million and one hours on my hair and makeup whenever I'm traveling. I wanna get out and explore the city. So I've sort of developed a routine for a go-to look that I consider to be a little more towards the low maintenance side and doesn't require much, especially when it comes to my hair. I only wash my hair once whenever I'm traveling or I try really hard to only wash it once depending on how long I'm away for. Because if not, I feel like I waste a lot of time doing my hair. If you guys saw my Anguilla vlog, there's a clip in there where I say I'm not going in the water today because I really didn't want to get my hair wet and redo it because, you know, it can take up a lot of time. So I'm really excited that I partnered with Dove for today's video because they introduced me to their two-in-one shampoo and conditioner, which not only reduces the amount of stuff that I have to bring with me on my travels, but it also gave my hair a really nice finish. So I'm gonna share with you guys in detail how I got my hair to look like this, plus this go-to makeup look that you guys have probably seen me wear on Snapchat a million times whenever I'm away. <laughs> so if you guys are interested and wanna see how I got this look, keep on watching. All right, let's talk about hair first. Currently, my hair and also Kyle's is extremely dry and itchy due to the colder climates we've been visiting. So I'm really excited to be using this Dove Dermacare Scalp 2-in-1 Shampoo and Conditioner. And of course, I wouldn't be traveling with the full-size bottle, so I'm gonna dispense enough product for two to one washes into this TSA approved bottle <laughs> because realistically, I will most likely only wash my hair once. But also because of the fact that this helps to hydrate and alleviate a dry, itchy scalp, I didn't feel the need to wash my hair as often because whenever I am experiencing a dry itchy scalp like I am now I feel the need to wash my hair more often because it feels dirty and also by reducing the amount of products I use there isn't a lot of product buildup so I really love the fact that this helped reduce the amount of products that I travel with while also keeping my hair smooth manageable and cleaner longer so now I've moved on to blow drying my hair and this is probably what takes up the most time and while blow drying it smooth can take longer I highly recommend taking your time with this because if you kind of just blow dry your hair all over the place, it's harder to style afterwards. So take a little extra time with this step and everything else will be a lot quicker. And again, you're only gonna have to do it once and never again. Now, when it comes to styling my hair, I always decide between a curling iron and a straightener. I never pack both. In this case, I've really been loving straight hair recently, so I'm gonna ditch the curling iron and pack the straightener. And you can still curl your hair with a straightener, so the straightener is always the better option, especially for smoothing away little baby hairs and things like that. And in order to get a super straight finish that'll last you until your next wash, use a paddle brush like the one I'm using right now to ensure you get out any kinks and waves as you're straightening piece by piece. And overall, I'm really impressed that I was able to get a sleek, smooth finish with a two-in-one shampoo and conditioner when I normally use a gazillion products, as you guys know. And it's also nice knowing that with regular use, I'll be able to control the flakiness of my current hair situation. And I guess I'll let Kyle borrow it as well. If not, I'll catch him using it anyway. <laughs> I'm just about done styling my hair. Overall, this took about 20 to 30 minutes. It'll obviously vary depending on your hair length and thickness. This still might seem a little long, but take the time now so you don't have to worry about your hair later. Afterwards, your best friend is going to be dry shampoo. Just give your hair a spritz whenever it's feeling a little dirty and you won't have to wash your hair again until you get back home. So that wraps up my hair, now onto my go-to makeup look. I always use a tinted moisturizer as my base because it's really lightweight, hydrating, easy to apply, and they typically tend to have an SPF, so it's a great all-in-one product. I just slather it all over my face using my fingertips and then blend out the rest with a beauty sponge. But of course, we have those days when we want a little more coverage, so I highly recommend packing a concealer. This is great because 
I don't know about you guys, but my skin tends to break out a little more than usual whenever I'm traveling from the climate change and the long hours on an airplane. So it's always a good idea to pack a heavy duty concealer to cover up those little imperfections. But of course we can't use a heavy duty concealer on our under eyes. So in that case, I pack even more concealer. But this one is specifically for the eye area. I always make sure to pack a concealer that is pink or salmon in tone to really brighten up the inner corners of the eyes, especially when we look a little tired from traveling. So I just apply it to the inner corners, blend it out with my fingertips, and then blend out the rest and pick up any excess using that same sponge. And of course, with all that cream product on the skin, you wanna make sure you set with powder. This is especially important if you don't wanna be touching up your makeup throughout the day, and if you're lazy like me and like to wear it into the night and just kinda of bump it up into an evening look. So I just make sure to really set the under eye areas and especially the lids because I'm not going to be using a separate eyeshadow primer I'm just using the concealer that I applied to the lids and then I press that powder into the rest of the skin before going in with bronzer and this to me is one of the more important makeup products that I tend to pack because I not only use it as a bronzer but you can use it as a blush eyeshadow and I contour with it as well so I always go for more of a cool toned bronzer to pack with me so I can use it for multiple things so I'm just going through and applying it to the general areas chiseling out the face a little more and then I'm also going to use it to contour the sides of my nose which this isn't really a necessary step but I feel like if I don't do it the center of the face looks pretty pale so I like to go ahead and do that and then I take that same translucent powder to just further define that nose contour so it doesn't look sloppy. And then I'm also gonna be applying that bronzer to the crease as my eyeshadow. Also, don't forget about the lower lash line. Make sure to pop some of that bronzer into that area to further define the eyes. Now let's talk about a good highlight. This is definitely an essential for me because I feel like it brings any makeup look to life makes your skin look radiant and dewy when it might not be feeling that way from all the traveling. And when creating this go-to look of mine, I tend to be a little excessive with the highlighter as you're seeing. I like to sweep it across the entire eyelid up to the temples, the high points of the cheeks, bridge of the nose, tip of the nose, cupid's bow, chin, and then I go in really heavy on the inner corners of the eyes. But afterwards I go in with a large fluffy blending brush and just blend in circular motions across the entire face to get a really natural color clean finish. Up next we have blush and like I mentioned earlier you can skip blush and actually use your bronzer as a blush but when traveling to colder areas I like the look of rosy cheeks. I think it looks really cute and really natural and ain't nobody got time to fill in their brows so I always opt for a tinted brow gel to make my brows look groomed and filled in. Of course I want my makeup to last all day so a setting spray is definitely a must have. Plus it makes all the powder that I apply to the skin look really natural and when it comes to the lip, believe it or not, all I apply is a lip balm. This is what you guys have so highly requested from me. Believe it or not, it's just my natural lip color with a lip balm on top. And finally, to complete this go-to travel hair and makeup look of mine, I just apply a ton of mascara to the upper and lower lashes. And there you have my go-to hair and makeup look that you will most likely see me wearing on Snapchat the next time I travel. <laughs> All right, that completes this video. Let me know if you found it helpful in terms of reducing the amount of products that you would bring with you on your next vacation. Also, let me know if you're willing to swap out a normal shampoo and conditioner for a two-in-one conditioner like the one from Dove. Comment down below if that's something you guys are willing to give a try because... I wasn't a believer and now I am. I'm definitely gonna incorporate this into my weekly hair routine. As you guys know, I like to swap out my shampoo and conditioners often to never get my hair accustomed to using just one product. So let me know if that's something that you guys would try. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, like, subscribe, and share, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys.